Hey guys, it's Danielle here. Um, I just wanted to hop on and give you a really quick word about God's love. Um, God loves you. I love you. Jesus loves you. And um, a lot of people do know the phrase that says God is love. Uh, but I wanted to just give you a little bit more details from the Bible. First, um, Romans 5, 8 says, But God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us so even though we were sinners and Jesus when he hung on the cross he knew um, there would be people who would never love him back there would be people who would despise him and hate him he still he still loved them he still died for them and and he died for all of us and uh, John 3 16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life that is one of my favorite Bible scriptures in the whole Bible and it really tells us the good news about Jesus that whoever believes in him will have everlasting life and that God loved the whole world so much and, and that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to come and die on the cross for our sins. So we need to love one another and love God and love ourselves, you know, be kind to ourselves. Um, and one of my other favorite verses is um, Ephesians three seventeen through 19. It says, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye may be filled with all the fullness of God. So when you know the love of Christ, it's going to pass all knowledge and it's going to fill you with the fullness of God. And 1 John 4, 16 and 19 says, And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love and he that dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. We love him because he first loved us. So we love God because he loved us first. 